well, two good practices. Um, we, we've got to do a good job of taking it from here to the game. That's the number one thing for us now. I think the guys are, uh, you know, it's, it's been fun to watch and come out and compete against each other. A lot of third down situations, which we, we need a lot of work at. But uh, we're getting better. That's the key. We're getting better. What's up with uh, Will Lucas? Looks like he's missed some time here the last couple of days. You know what? He had a little bit of a hamstring um, that we were resting a little bit, but uh, hopefully, hopefully he's back by tomorrow. But, uh, I didn't think it was that bad, but maybe it's a little worse than I thought. What did you see out of Gregory this week? And does he factor in? Uh, you're gonna do? We'll talk about it tomorrow as a staff when we do our final personnel meetings. You know, there's so many, just four guys over there, five guys over there trying to get reps. It's hard. To roll all those guys too, so we'll make a decision on which are the top three guys we're going to run the ball with. You have another couple of practices now with this new defensive look. It sounds just watching it and having Hudson, you know, he's still teaching. You know, there's still a lot of teaching going on. Oh with this yeah, new defense. it's two weeks in. You got to. There's a lot of teaching to, to be uh, to be taught to these guys, but they're picking it up pretty quick. Mm -hmm. What do you like from these freshman receivers so far? Obviously, you got them a lot in these, uh, you know, three receiver sets, getting them out in the open field. I mean, what do you like from them so far? Well, first of all, it's their energy. Uh, they play with a lot of energy and, and uh, a, little, a lot of passion. Uh, they they got a lot of learning to do. Uh, they still play a little bit high in confrontation. Uh, we got to get them to get their pad level down. But uh, they're going to be, uh, they'll be good. They'll be good. I know you've been high on D'Angelo. Is, is he ahead of some of those other guys, or you say one is ahead of the other? Well, D'Angelo is definitely ahead of the group right now. He's the guy that's making plays. Uh, he's the guy that uh, is probably our go-to guy on offense when the ball's in the air. Right Taylor Richards is the most experienced guy, you know, obviously. And say that you have right now. Where is that showing up? Uh, you know, he helps those young guys get a little bit better. Uh, it's going to be nice to get Fighter back next week for for, uh, for the rest of the season. But, you know, an older guy can always help those guys with watching film and uh, actually the movements that occur out here on the practice field. You want him to be aggressive and decisive. Is that safe to say? Oh, absolutely. Go, go get it. When the ball's in the air, we got to go attack the ball. And that's one of the things we got to get better at. And you're bringing him, I mean, you would bring any of those safeties down, I suppose, depending on the calls that you make, but he needs to be aggressive in that sense. Do you come up to stop the run? And tackle. you got to come down and tackle. That's, that's critical for us. What have you seen out of Fife again these last couple of days? Well, Definitely have him back for Ohio State, you think? Or? Well, that's the word that we're getting. Uh, we'll find out for sure next week when he's uh, cut fully loose. Um, you know, I think someone stepped on his... Uh, his uh, splint broke it. That's why. I don't know. Did he practice it all today? I think it's just. Yes, yeah, yeah. I think someone broke his splint uh, in the locker room yesterday accidentally. <laughs> so uh, it's a special mold. So we had to go down to India and get another one. But uh, it should be come out and run around a little bit tomorrow.